Follicular unit extraction was originally done with a small handheld punch. And the problem with the handheld punch is that in order to make it cut, you have to rotate it back and forth in your fingers. And that would take the alignment um, away from the angle of the hair. In other words, you'd have to, for the punch to be effective and not cause damage to follicles, it'd have to be perfectly aligned with the follicular units. But these back and forth motions would throw the alignment off. So then uh, doctors switched to a motorized punch, and then all you'd have to do is hold the punch in the right position. Um, but the problem with this is, is that the, the instrument was, um, was rotating so quickly and it was so sharp that it would just cut, you know, cut through follicles, essentially like butter. Um, so then uh, we started using a two-step procedure. And what the two-step procedure was, was to first score the skin with a sharp instrument, but then use a blunt tool to go deeper into the tissue. And a very clever uh, variation of this developed by Jim Harris called the SAFE system was using the same instrument that would rotate quickly to, to score the skin and cause a sharp um, uh, cut initially and then slow down as it got deeper into the tissue, converting the same punch into a more dull dissecting instrument. The problem, though, with this system, it's still a handheld system, and the, the angle is still controlled by the physician, and the physician, um, over hundreds of graphs, really doesn't have consistent accuracy. When the robot was developed, it was able to solve both these problems. It had the technology of the, of the sharp, blunt dissection, where it would be sharp on the surface, and then switch to a blunt instrument as it went deeper into the tissue, and it was also... Uh, uh, controlled by 3D imaging to make sure that the head of the robot was perfectly aligned with the hair follicles.